but how would you train in the weight room for that type of like sport? for highland games yeah um so it's all so sub-maximal mm -hmm. right that nothing we throw is heavy yeah. In the grand scheme of things, gotcha. we throw a 56 pound weight, like even mm. the caber is only probably 130, 150 pounds. Mm. And as far as we all do shit in the gym, like I deadlift mm. 700 pounds, yeah. I'm not real worried about a 56 pound thing. Mm. <laughs> so the trick to doing it well is I need to apply mm. the 700 pounds of strength that I have in the deadlift to a thing that only weighs 56 pounds. And the gotcha. only ways to do that are technique and mm. speed. Yeah. And so I need flexibility to, you know, even if I was throwing a punch here, mm -hmm. like a shot put, you see people do that mm -hmm. instead of yeah. being able to push from all the way back here mm -hmm. and then turn the hips. And now mm -hmm. I can push from further back. So yeah. the longer you get time to apply that force, the mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. And so then with that too, like I'm trying to build speed at my feet mm -hmm. and then stay wrapped so that whatever I'm pushing into the ground to build force is translating already to the ball. Mm -hmm. And then I can always push this out gotcha. at the end. Yeah, so your focus primarily, especially in the weight room, is going to be more sub-maximum, more speed, strength, power work. Yeah, so if I'm not competing in powerlifting at the time and I'm not judged on my total, mm -hmm. it's all GPP. Yes. The whole gym's GPP. Mm -hmm. Why would I give a shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be the strongest dude out there taking fifth. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. trying to win. <laughs> yeah. And so more beneficial to me as an athlete is what's the heaviest weight i can i can squat today at two meters a second on mm -hmm. tendo unit yeah versus we're figuring out my max like i don't mm -hmm. need a lift that's going to take me two seconds to grind out it doesn't mm -hmm. translate at all yeah but well you built the base of strength at that point too as well yeah so that was one of the things also it's like if you're if you're young and you're trying to build that base then yes you have to build strength in order for you to get faster and to get more powerful and and so on and so forth. But when you're at the elite level like yourself, then it is more specific to the speed of the sport. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to have the power transfer. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, too, that like anyone even coming up, and they're like, oh, you know, I'm not sure what to do training-wise. Like, if you're ever in doubt, go throw stuff. Yeah, for sure. Get out of the fucking gym. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you don't have the technique to apply the force you're building, stop building force for a while mm -hmm. and fix the technique yeah. so that whatever conversion of percentage is happening... Mm -hmm. So that you getting stronger affects the throw. Yeah. If not, you're 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 stepping over dollars to pick up pennies.